Okay, so what um, I'm interested in is how you came to me. Where did your interest in alchemy come from? Yeah, I was, I had made a record, I mean, <laughs> I was asked to play on a record, um, and it was, it was called Praxis Transmutation, and it was um, with, Bill Laswell produced it, and he, it was his idea, and now that I look back on it, I think he was doing an a chemical experiment, you know, like bringing, he brought Bootsy and Brain and me and Brain Worrell and F in, we made a record and I, I hadn't ever really heard of that. So once the album was out and he called it Praxis Transmutation and I was like, well, what is that, you know? So that's when I first heard of it and then I, I at that time I would like all I could think of was like Frankenstein's laboratory from the movie and that was a long time ago and then over time I started seeing the images you know like um and to, what happened to you when you saw the actual alchemical images um so uh so you made this record transmutation, and then you started to go to bookstores, you said, and in those bookstores you looked at alchemical images and something began to happen to you. What happened to you when you looked at those images? Yeah, I think it it kind of opened my mind up in a way that I didn't understand, but I liked the feeling of it a lot. And What were the feelings like? Yeah, it reminded me of when I would play as a child, you know, like with toys and just not having any idea about what I was, I just pick up toys and make worlds up and, you know, like a lot of most kids would do and just that freedom of it, it reminded me of that, that feeling. Of, of making whole worlds. That's, yeah, that's true. Of playing. Yeah, it just felt like boundless, you know, like just, mm -hmm. I don't really, I couldn't even try, I didn't really want to try to even understand them as much as I wanted to just, I liked the feeling I got. Right. And it did feel that way to me, like a lot of those images. And did it affect your music? Yeah, I mean, I definitely would look at the pictures and then whether it was playing and recording, I could, I noticed that when I did look at them, I would get into a different kind of state, you know. So can you describe that state that you got into when you looked at these images of alchemy? Yeah, it's like, like playing as a kid. It, it just had that feeling of just wonder. Mm. And I think... It, it, did, did your music sound different? Definitely, I think I came up with things that I don't, I don't remember having any awareness of where that came from. You know, like I didn't think about it or practice certain things. It would just kind of come up. And then I would be like, well, that's pretty weird, you know. And... And so as you were doing that um, over time, you became interested in learning more about alchemy. Is that how you came to me? Yeah, I wanted to get into the mind frame. Once I got more into it, I started seeing all the pictures of the guys in the laboratories. And I was like, I wonder what it would be like to play guitar with, that, with what they were thinking of or what they were experiencing. <clears throat> like, I want to approach the guitar with the way they approached trying to work with the furnaces and the vessels and everything that you've taught me. I, I just love the imagery. And that really interested me because um, you are really good at your music. You're a virtuoso. So I was very interested what would happen if a virtuoso in music 
would start to play with these images of alchemy and if we could work, create a transmutation process by way of music. That's, that would interest me and that's when we started working together. Usually people come to me because um, I work with dreams, I work with the deep imagination and I work with alchemy. But usually people come to me for a creative process or they come because they have psychological problems or they, um, they want to work on their dreams. But people don't usually come to me because of my expertise in alchemy. People don't do that, and so I was fascinated that that's why he came to me. So shall we see if we can do one of these alchemical processes in music? We can just try it and see what comes out of it. What you're going to try and do is you remember back to the album that was called Transmutation and how that made you feel and how you then got into these images and you began to feel those images and they began to affect your music. Now go back to these images and let it boil. vessel and the vessel is called the pelican. The pelican is um, a glass vessel where it starts at the bottom as a boiling mass and then the fumes begin to rise up and then they come to the top of the vessel and then the beak of the pelican feeds it back into the bottom. So now first you play this bubbling stuff at the bottom, this heavy stuff out of which the fumes start to rise up to the head of the pelican. <laughs> pelican through the beak of the pelican these fumes begin to infuse the heavy substance at the bottom of the vessel This is called the sublimation. And in that sublimation, as the fumes go back into the bottom of the vessel, then the heavy stuff down below begins to transmute. That is the beginning of the transmutation process. <coughs>
and as that happens slowly it begins to coagulate it cools down and it becomes concrete it becomes coagulated <laughs> it coagulates then it has to be dissolved again and this goes on for a few measures the coagulation dissolution coagulation dissolution of colors that begin to come up. That's called the tail of the peacock. emerges something that has never been heard before. Salem, the heaven, this spark goes into the world of the mirror, the world of silver, the world of the moon, and in this silver world it becomes a completely alien melody. Now, spirit, this alien spirit, that's what the alchemist is trying to do. The alchemist is trying to get the alien spirit to rise up out of the metals and then communicate with this alien spirit and out of that the transmutation process takes place. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
this is what the alchemists call the tincture. And the tincture is creative energy that then puts everything in a new key.